Welcome back to Good Morning Idaho 614. Right now on our Tuesday morning, our temperature is still looking okay as they send those kids out the door for their second day of school. It's not a bad walk to the bus stop. 67 degrees, light winds, and dry conditions. So uh, don't need to send them out there with an umbrella, maybe not even a jacket. They definitely won't need one this afternoon. A hot day ahead of us. Our temperatures heating up all across the region. In the mountains will be in the high 80s. In the valleys, mid to upper 90s. So definitely a hot one out there. Right now it's 40 degrees in Stanley, 66 in Twin. So taking a wider look at our region, Dry. We do have these thin high clouds working their way in again, much like it was yesterday. Really, it's a copycat forecast. It's hot, it's hazy, and I, I don't think you'll really notice the clouds because they're not going to do much in terms of relief from the heat, from the sunshine, and we have so much smoke in the area that you probably won't even see them above the layer of gray air that we're dealing with. But again, it is good news because that means we're seeing a change, a little bit of a change, starting to break down this high pressure system that's kept us so hot and so dry, so it'll allow for better changes to come. And even though that's it's not necessarily precipitation yet for Boise. Looks like we will stay dry even on Thursday when we had a slight chance of it. We will see some some moisture, some precipitation in the Magic Valley and in the higher elevations up there in the mountains in the coming days. Of course, where we need it is uh, of course where the fires are in the northwest, and we're not seeing a lot of rain there. But it is a, a sign of good things to come. At least we're moving in the right direction, and we really need those fires in the northwest to get put out before we'll see any major change in our air quality here in Boise because the slight breeze that we are getting. Is is coming from the northwest, just bringing more smoke. So today, another red air quality alert. That means it is unhealthy for most groups. Any sort of strenuous exercise outside should be limited. Really, your time in general outside should be limited. So smoky, hot, and dry once again today. We do have some cooler conditions, some uh, more moist air close to us, but it'll take us a few days to, to get it here, to see any sort of change in our temperature, but it will come eventually. Taking a look at our future cast tomorrow, you can see those showers arrive in the Magic Valley. It looks like late tomorrow evening, or late tomorrow afternoon, rather, is when we'll see a little bit of, of rain through the Twin Falls area. And then once again on Thursday, the higher elevations, we'll see some rain. That is definitely good news. End of August, any sort of precipitation is great. And then starting about Friday, Saturday, Sunday is when we'll see that difference in temperature here in Boise. And I'm excited for it because today is hot. 96 for Boise. 88 is normal, so we're well above it with light winds and, of course, areas of smoke sticking around the Treasure Valley. The Magic Valley looking the same as well. Patchier smoke might be a little bit better today in terms of air quality in certain areas, but it looks like it'll still be pretty smoky out there. 95 for Twin. Light winds out there. The West Central Mountains heating up as well. High 80s through the Long Valley. 95 for Idaho City. 96 in Council today. A hot one. Light winds. Areas of smoke. We'll see some sunshine. Mostly sunny skies above the layer of smoke and haze, of course. 85 for Sun Valley today. So smoky today, smoky tomorrow. We're in the high 90s. It is definitely a hot couple of days ahead of us, but then we'll start to see the cooler air working its way in. And by about Saturday, we'll be back into the 80s, and it's looking nice as we start next week at 82. Jillian?